and welcome. This is H. This is John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. What we're looking at at this tutorial is another tabbed activity. So create a tabbed activity, go next, and instead of doing the swipe view, which is what we did in the last tutorial, we're going to do the action bar tabs with view pager. Create that, and you'll create your own example of what Android wants you to use as a template. And I'm going to show you some of the things um, that I've used and basically the code that we used in the last tutorial we're going to reuse in this tutorial and blow it up a little bit. So that's that's all there is to it. Basically what I did is I went and I copied and pasted an, uh, the code from my frag into here. And now what I did is I also changed a little bit of this, but not much when I created my frag 2. So what I did is I did a copy and a paste and I renamed my frag 2. Now my frag 2 uh, I'm going to use for the for this example Susan. So what I did is I came in here dynamically and I changed the Dave text. I didn't change that uh, in, because I copied and pasted the XML too uh, to set to hello to Susan. So when it opens up it says hello Susan. So the Dave text check down here Hello Susan will actually find Hello Susan instead of Hello Dave. And then that will allow the button to change. And um, the XML itself, page one, is what we used last time. Down here in layout, all I did was I went to page one, right click, copied, and pasted it, and changed it to page two. And you can see that all I changed uh, the, were the variable names here in uh, page two. Let's go in there and look at that. Looks the same. Uh, the background is red, uh, text view, and text view 2, uh, button 2. So this is exactly the same as it was last time. Now what I've done is I've named the linear layout to frag view. I'm not actually using it um, for this, uh, this demonstration, but I, that if, there, if you notice this change, uh, it, does, it isn't used, but I added it. So, and then we go into page two XML, and I changed the background color to blue. And again, this is changed dynamically in the Java, so it should say Hello Dave here. Again, and I renamed it. That's basically all I've done is change the background color, and I named the, uh, the linear layout view two. So you come down here, text view three instead of two, and button three instead of two. So that's all the changes in the linear layout. Now when we go look at the main Java, we're going to look at, uh, at the quick and dirty version of how this works. Uh, the section one, that's how it was initially named. Initially it was just section one, section two, section three. And these are tabs that you can click and it changes. And you can also swipe. So basically the tabs are the only difference in, uh, in what you have as opposed to what you used to have, which was a swiper only. So we'll come in here and we'll look at this and you'll scroll down and I've left everything alone until we get down to right here, the section pagers adapter. All right. And here, the comment out formal former material, it starts here with get item is called to instantiate. So what I did is I commented out the override section right here. And I put in added new material here, and I'll put this on my website. It's basically the basically the same thing, but just a little bit changed because I added a new page. Uh, public fragment get item int position curly braces switch position curly braces case zero, which is the primary page because zero starts is actually one in computer science. Return placeholder fragment dot new instance position one and that course you know is down here the placeholder fragment and then return my fragment dot new instance and that is the new instance that we created in my frag you should be familiar with this from last tutorial and I did almost exactly the same thing with frag 2 uh, with just changing a couple of the needed uh, variables now let's go look at frag 2 real quick I want to point out some of the things that will have to be you have to pay attention to when you're changing this um, 
You don't really need to change this, but I changed the variable to fragment two. The other thing that you have to look for is when you inflate, you need to make sure you inflate my page two because it's easy to forget that. And then I changed the button three and text view three. And of course I did this, I set text hello Susan dynamically and I changed all this to hello Susan instead of uh, to Dave. And that's, that's all that was really done different in that page. So now you'll notice here, these section heads, these aren't really set very spiffily. I mean, they're, they're not complicated. It's just right here, this is char sequence. You want to change the section headings, you just change these. So I changed my section two to Dave and my section three to Susan. And as you can see, it shows up here. So that's no big deal. Uh, and then we copied and pasted basically from the pro previous example uh, to this. Now the return null here, and there has to be another return null here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's 100% clear, but I wanted to make sure you do that because you will get an error if you've only got uh, the one return null. All right, so there's that. And I show two pages because that's from my other tu tutorial when I only had two pages. So we're gonna change this to three and we've returned three and then the newly added material ends. And then we just updated this because we didn't change it. We didn't delete it. We just changed the text and that's it. Everything else remains the same. And that's how that works. Uh, it's very similar uh, to what the, there's just the swipe tab uh, one was. Uh, this one that you actually have the visible tabs at the top. And so there it is. Hello, Dave. <laughs> All right, this has been Ageless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. I'm glad you joined me. I hope you learned something. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and a thumbs up and I'll see you around.